Today I am going to present a seminar on the topic Role of Information and Communication Technology in Transforming Legal Education. In this particular seminar, I am going to focus on the topics such as Introduction of Legal Education and ICT, Importance of Using ICT in Education, Importance of ICT with Specific Reference to Legal Education, Application of ICT in legal education, electronic books, e-journals, electronic legal databases, and in the end, I'm going to give a conclusion and suggestions. So starting with the introduction, I would like to say that information and communication technology has influenced almost all the arenas of knowledge across the globe. The influences are felt more in case of education. And the COVID-19 pandemic has added to the increased use of role of ICT in education. So ICTs have revolutionized the way people are working today. And the main focus is laid on transforming the existing education systems through varied platforms. And legal education too doesn't exist in vacuum. Therefore, the development in legal education according to the means of ICT is vital. So in this paper, I have discussed the importance of ICT in legal education and the changes which it has brought in traditional teaching of law. So basically, let us move on towards discussing importance of using ICT in education. Using ICT means that information can be obtained almost instantly at any time and any place, wherever there is feasible network. The World Wide Web contains variety of amounts which is easily accessible in the form of information to the end users. Such information is very much vital for the learners as they are able to learn from different perspectives, wider understanding of core issues has become feasible. ICT is helping teachers also to adjust the teaching materials to the needs and ability as well as levels of the students. The computers equipped with internet and other ICT means are providing opportunities to the students to learn anywhere, anytime, and any place. And we have witnessed this during COVID-19 pandemic, when the whole world was under lockdown, many schools and colleges were running their educational institutes through online mode. And therefore, it can be said that the education is no more confined to the boundaries of schools and colleges. Rather, it is at every home and every place of work. So, now the use of ICT and its extended scope of offering various programs at distance level has become widely popular. ICT is promoting multimedia approach of education with the help of audio video aids, sounds, motion pictures, television, film scripts, records, computers, auditors, etc. All these are being used as tools for imparting education. So it is creating an environment where multiple tools and materials are used to help the students to acquire knowledge and to develop their critical thinking ability to help them presenting their research skills. And it is helping the teachers and students to contact each other and perform joint activities. It is enabling the teacher-learner approach rather than simply allowing the teachers and the students to, work, to do what they have been doing traditionally since ages. So it has an impact not only on the student's ability to learn, but it is playing major role in what and how the students should learn. It is transforming the manner of gaining insight to the knowledge. It is helping the students to prepare life after school. 
proficiency in skills, for example, can help them to improve their future job prospects. Now let us move on towards the application of ICTs in legal education. Bar Council of India in its education rules way back in the year 2008 had emphasized the need and necessity of ICT in law colleges to be made mandatory. That is, at least 10 internet access points with desktop facilities and one online database and library for the students is a must. Technology offers attractive possibilities of making legal education more efficient as well as effective. So that is why all the law colleges in present day times are trying their level best to get equipped with ICT facilities as much as possible. They are having or they are providing ebooks to the students. Ebooks are nothing but the digital version of printed books. Many law college libraries as well as university libraries have moved towards digitalization of their books. In addition to textual matters, the ebooks also consist of hyperlinks, search facilities, and multimedia capabilities. The ebook compilers compile the source files into easy one and distribute them in the form of PDF, HTML, RTF files. So basically, ebook has electronic text which is shown to the viewer visually. Apart from that, several e journal databases are prescribed, subscribed by the law colleges. E journals are nothing but a periodical publication published in an electronic format. There are certain, certain or several advantages of e-journals over traditional or printed journals. Students can search the content page of full text to find the article of their choice. They no, need not to buy a complete journal and go through. They can access a particular article relevant to their theme of study and they can go through only that particular article which saves their time also. They can read it anywhere, either in their laptops or in mobile phones. They know, uh, need not go to libraries, sit for hours and search the thing. Students can save the journals in the desktop or laptop even for future references. Apart from that, several commercial legal databases have been created, like Supreme Court Cases Online Repetition, Manupatra, Westlaw, LexisNexis India, etc. Now, let us move on to understand what is meant by an electronic legal database? Manupatra is one of the online legal database which provides legal taxation corporate business policy database and contains primary documents and analytical content which covers commentaries, digits, fair acts, judgments as well as articles. It is a free database. It is a fee-based database having different subscription policies for different members of legal fraternity. And it is a privilege to access to use the database as it empowers them with the in-depth legislative, regulatory, as well as procedural information, which is critical for making a single online platform. It is very much helpful for law students so that they can take help of it and prepare for mood code problems as well as research relating to their curricular activities. The next important database is LexisNexis. It is a worldwide provider of content-enabled workflow solutions which is designed particularly for legal professionals relating to risk management, corporate, government, law enforcement, accounting, as well as academic markets. The customers can access billions of documents and records from more than 45,000 legal news and business resources via the database of LexisNexis. Another important data database is Westlaw and Thompson, which is online legal research database service and provides quick and easy access to various statutes, case law materials, public records, other legal resources, journals, reviews, published from all around the world. And the primary legal materials are available on jurisdictions of UK, USA, and other Commonwealth countries. 
apart from that, in India, we are also having SCC online web edition, that is Supreme Court Cases web -based database, which provides quality information with interface and which makes legal research a very quick and efficient manner. An effective process is opted by students and other legal professionals. It is having a collection of 380 databases with more than 3.4 billion million documents over 16.47 million pages. Another database is Judgment Information System, which consists of cases or the judgments decided by the Supreme Court of India, as well as judgments of several high courts of India. All the Supreme Court's judgments which are published in Supreme Court Reporter General Journal since its inception, that is in the year 1950, till today are available in this database. So we can conclude that effective use of ICT into teaching learning for a process has a potential to engage the students learning easy and meaningful way. Various applications of audio video aid to present practical legal problems can help the students to enhance their analytical and problem solving approach. So for this purpose, intensive and continuous training for teachers relating to ICT, how to use ICT in the classroom teaching has to be conducted, needs to be conducted periodically. And the motive regarding the use of ICT in theory as well as practical training is very much useful. It helps to motivate the students that how technology has gained importance in our day-to-day -day life. So, provisions for computer labs, Wi-Fi connectivity, email accounts has to be emphasized in colleges and universities for effective use of ICT. Many colleges are having their LMS system also, through which they are monitoring the progress of their students. Thank you.